had put a generator in the garage um, during the ice storm to keep uh, us warm. And uh, that night, carbon monoxide was filling the, uh, the house. I went to bed, my son and I, my mother-in-law and my husband went to bed around midnight. Um, I started feeling a little bit woozy. My son did. My mother-in-law was experiencing uh, problems breathing. She had health issues and I, um, I didn't notice anything different until the next morning, which I thought was morning. It was 2.30 in the afternoon in actual time and uh, I didn't know but my husband had passed away um, during the night and my mother-in-law uh, was in really, really bad shape. Um, so my son and I called 911. We were very disoriented, um, didn't really know, weren't aware what was happening. And uh, my mother-in-law ended up uh, having a severe heart attack major heart attack and uh, had to be taken off life support and my husband had passed. When the autopsy report came back he had a 50% saturation level of carbon monoxide and 35% is fatal. And my son and I were taken to Toronto General, put in the hyperbaric chamber to clear our systems and then uh, December 25th, Christmas Day, we were released from the hospital and sent back to Bowmanville Hospital where we spent another few days. Altogether we were in a week. But the dog is the hero because she woke me up and brought my attention as best she could by whining for me to get up and that saved my son and I. Carbon monoxide detectors are crucial. Uh, Bill 77 has now been passed where it is law. My hope is that people listening to my story will realize how important they are, that to go to the, the store and buy one is a small price to pay for someone's life that could be spared, and people need to know that these, these carbon monoxide detectors do save lives. Carbon monoxide is a silent killer, and people need to to really be aware of this and if i can save one person i my job is done